There we go. Good morning, everybody. As we were just discussing uh, before the stream started up, I was seriously considering playing this as an Argonian, but I opted for a High Elf. I don't know, another slightly different, um, different take. Look at the size of that freaking hammer. It's ridiculous. And look how much screen space it takes up. <laughs> Yeah, get wrecked. Anyway, yeah. The Argonian's gonna be used for the assassin. I know that's kinda cliche, but there yeah, there it is. Alrighty, so we've got um We got flames, we got healing, and we've got a mace and some heavy armor. Oh, and we also have divine elegance. Why do I still have divine elegance? That's weird. I don't think I'm supposed to have that. Hmm. All right, let's um let's see. I could go over here towards Rorikstead. Eh. Let's go towards Markarth. my imagination or is the ground pink there? Okay. I don't know what that means. What a beautiful day. So as the Crusader we are going to be focused on l heavy armor one-handed restoration and destruction. I think I'm gonna perk destruction pretty light and... Oh. We're gonna perk destruction pretty light and pour most of those levels into restoration and we're gonna use restoration more offensively which is a possibility with ordinator Especially against undead. So let's take a look at that. We go up here with um, sending light and so forth. So this helps you regenerate magicka. Afterglow. Hostile undead within 40 feet burst into flames. Exorcist. Afterglow also reduces armor by 500 points. Magic resistance for 50%. Crusaders fire in combat. Targets within 30 feet affected by a turn undead spell or effect burn with divine fire, taking 10 points of damage per second for 10 seconds. Your attacks and critical strikes deal 25% more damage to affected targets. Good morning, Lillers. We got uh, Warrior's Flame. Periodically touches a random target within 100 feet, including you. Friendly targets are blessed, restoring 20 points of magicka and stamina for 5 seconds. Hostile targets are cursed, damaging the same amount instead. Hostile, tar uh, hostile undead cursed by warrior's flame take 30 points of damage per second. This is just, just gonna freaking wreck the undead. And we can also go up this side to false light which is supposed to, although I have tested this and it didn't seem to work that well. Um, you can cast healing spells and damage enemies. 75% of the heal amount increased another 10% and also allows Sacred Guardian and Under My Wings to hit, damaged, uh, hit and damage enemies and in thy name, uh, 15%. So, targeted for example, for example, something like um, healing hands should, once you get up to that, it should damage like, is it 12 points? 12 points per second? Something like that. And heal other is, is it 50? I want to say 50. So we're going to give that a try, see how it works out. Might be a complete disaster for all I know. Good morning, Wolf. How you doing, my friend? 
No guys. Do you, do you guys trade? Oh, you do trade. And you don't have any spell books. That's too bad. I don't think. Oh, I can sell off some food. There you go. I'll take. I don't need any of that. I'll take it all. That's mine. Um. Yeah. That seems good. May your road lead you to warm sands. I'm doing pretty good. I have a lot of tightness in my back. I'm gonna go to the chiropractor in a few days. That is the earliest I could get in with all the holidays going on. Sup, lullers. How are your streams going, lullers? I haven't been able to catch any. I haven't caught any of yours or uh, RL Wiz's for a while. Well, this is a very slow trudge. I could always attack a goat, you know, just to level up. I need to... ooh. I just realized I don't think I actually had a nap, did I? I did not. That means my skills are not going to level up very fast until I do that. Hey, book. Thanks. This is... Vivid Weathers. Is there a Knights of the Nine? I know there's a Knights of the Nine armor. I'm not sure if there's Knights of the Nine, like, a quest. Hello, Tamaz. How are you doing this morning? So we're going to apparently make it all the way to Markarth without a single incident. That's too bad. I was hoping to, you know, beat some up some wolves or something. Anything. Could fight some mud crabs over here. But I wanna wanna have a nap first. So that I gain levels quickly. I know there is one mod that has the uh, Crusader armor from Knights of the Nine. You have to do a few, like, small quests. And then you have to defeat some ancient guardian or something like that to actually get the armor. Hey, Hazardous. Got a lot of new people. A lot of people I don't recognize from previous streams. Hey, body. Yeah. We're definitely gonna do, um... Oh, apparently someone's getting murdered. <laughs> He's running down. Shoot her with flames. Um... I guess this is gonna be sort of a holy night. Come on in. The silver Probably a has plenty pretty good balls. estimate. I said all Don't mind backfire. Backfire. My parents are always mm, No, you're not. You're not selling rooms. Give me give me a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. What was that you said, venomous wife of mine? Not gonna show me where it is. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Let me know if there's anything else. Yeah, how can a crusader run around without a horse? That's ridiculous. Do I have enough money? You just started playing Morrowind. Nice. I do not have enough. What are you doing out here? Hello? Okay. 
Playing Morrowind. Did you ever get uh, Moro Oblivion running? Well, judging by the armor, see the Dragonborn symbol, and the fact that I've, this is called the Gifts of Akatosh, this armor, and the um, I'm also wearing an Akatosh amulet. I think it's safe to say that we are following Ak Akatosh. We're the divine vengeance of Akatosh. Hello, Den, Denan. Danan. That's true. Mer well, especially Meridia. Hates undead. God of time. Which means I should really have the slow time shout. Dawnbreaker is a great crusader weapon, that's for sure. And Azura, the goddess of twilight. Daedra warrior. You know, I, uh, I did actually do a run-through on my own of a... Uh, somebody who's trying to become a Daedric Lord. I wanted to see if it was possible to, um, you know, to rise, basically, from the ashes. From the ashes of lowly mor human mortality. What is going on with that chicken? You know, could he go from the lowly, lowly depths of humanity? Good grief, chicken. Okay. And become a Daedric Lord. And his... The way he did it is he just accumulated all of the... Oh, my... No, that is not what I wanted to do. Oh, God. Why... Did I just take so much damage? Oh! I'm taking way more damage than I thought I would. Anyway, yeah, so he accumulated all the, um... All of the Daedric artifacts. And, you know, individually, I guess the Daedric Lords didn't think it was a problem, but uh, eventually they realized that this is going to be a serious, serious issue for them. And by that time it was too late. Hey, Patriot. The guy came running from over here, right? That's kind of... Yeah, there you are. God damn, you are... You are, like, ripping into me, man. Ah! Attack from behind! Um... Am I even going to get past these Forsworn? Are you sure Meridia isn't one of the Daedric Princes? Hey, Jack. Okay, let's, um... Let's not die s quite so hard. Guys are brutal with their dual wielding. Get shot here. Yeah, I don't want to deal with. I don't want to fight two at once. Oh, that was good. That was good. Oh, heal, 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 heal. And let's just level up, shall we? All right, well, health seems to be an issue at the moment.
What's a magi G? It's like a like some sort of genie? Well she's definitely well, I guess technically the Daedra and Aedra are the same species, race, whatever. The difference is that the Aedra contribute part of the part of their health or part of their life to create Nern. While the Daedra refused, and so they still have all their power. Um, what do I want here? Restoration? Heavy armor? I think heavy armor is where we're going right now. God damn you. I'm, gonna, I'm still gonna die! Ah, yes. <sighs> fucking son of a... Blah. Can I, can I actually get past these guys? And I leveled too, but now that level is gone. Interesting. I didn't know. I want to take on just one of these guys at a time. That's, that's all I want. Well, they're coming. Well, they're they're aggroed. One at a time. I can handle one at a time. I cannot handle them all. Children of Magni. Okay. Okay, you come. Come over here. Not just you and me. There we go. Oh, well, though, there's somebody shooting at me, but that's okay. Nice. That's more like it. Oh, boy. That's not... That's not good. That is not good at all. Okay, health. Oh. Yeah, two points of health. Good. Heavy armor. Yes. Yes, please and thank you. Increase the power of our restoration, maybe? Okay. Yeah. There we go. Two down. Finally. Only took 7,000 tries. Okay, where is this other person hanging out? Way over there. Oh. Well, I'm trying to kill people and not get dead. I can't believe how much damage these freaking this force wander down to me. Magnagy. Do I want... I guess I should probably be picking some things up to sell, right? Holy... Holy gaining levels. Okay, let's put... A, well, let's go to 150 maybe in health. Then we'll start putting some points into stamina. My understanding is that the Oblivion Realms, the Daedra weren't cast into Oblivion. Like, that is their natural habitat or whatever. I don't know. I did read through the entire lore at one point. Well, not the entire lore, but I mean the, um, the timeline from creation onward. All right. 
I'll take your word for it. Correction, restoration. I think I can do more restoration. Less magicka, more power. Sounds good. Well, let's head up towards Carthwaston. At the moment, I'm just trying to stay alive, but yes, Pyro. I was thinking about doing, um, Frost against, uh, like, melee. Melee attackers. Henry, this is the Gifts of Akatosh. Quite an interesting armor. It also comes, there's a variety, oh, look at all the blood on there. There's, um, several weapons as well. There's, um, well, let's just take a look at it. So there is the battle hammer, which is what I'm using, a war axe, and a sword. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't come across, certainly does not come across as being evil. I mean, she likes having champions like other Daedric princes, but she's, you know, primarily just to kill off undead and necromancers. She doesn't manipulate to humans like so many other Daedric princes. Eh, uh, Hatu! Is that how you pronounce that? Eh, Hatu Ra? Hi! Welcome to the show! Come along, no more stops. Need some find our way to solitude. Why are we even going Um. Yeah, I'm still not really that well off, am I? I thought it was kind of interesting, like, the whole idea that, like, the gods, the Aedra, you know, gave up <clears throat> part of their power to create the mundane world, and because of that, they are too weak to really have much effect, other than, you know, some sort of mild blessings and stuff like that. Oh. More Forsworn. Apparently Forsworn are my problem. Enough! Enough! I'm dying! Um, I... I mean, that's not really worth carrying, is it? Take those. Those. <clears throat> That's right. I mean, I, you know, I'm, I've, we've already done several, you know, let's kill all the, all the bad people. I'm, well, I'm just doing a build. 
not worry too much about uh, role playing as a holy knight or what have you. Yeah, as the god of time, I'll, although this whole series is all about recreating Oblivion, and of course there was, you know, Oblivion builds, and there were no, there were no, uh, shouts in Oblivion. Otherwise, otherwise, it would make perfect sense to use the slow time shout for this build, as long as you're going to be worshipping Akatosh and all that. Well, hello there, Wolfie. There we go. 115 health. Let's see, what can you be? Okay, you can be, um, you know, the old, um, the old, um, D and D uh, matrix or whatever, right? You got like lawful, unlawful, um, neutral. Um, oh, what are they? <laughs> I can't remember everything. Um, but you know, you can be like lawful good, lawful evil, neutral, neutral everything. I'm gonna hold off on the increasing my damage. I basically want to increase my ability to survive. Descending light, perhaps. Yeah, definitely gonna put some. Now that I've got uh, 115 health, I'm gonna put start putting some points into stamina as well. When you enter combat, you rapidly regenerate points of magicka. I mean, that sounds good. It only lasts 10 seconds, but... Basically, we can pour it on. And not worry about, uh, the... What we're using for... For, um... You know, towards, um... Destruction. We'll start off with destruction. Mm -hmm. Blast away. Black Reach. There we got somebody coming around the corner. You are an archer. And oh, well, there's guys. There's guys here. Burn, burn with holy fire. Where are you? Yeah, like all the Lesser Daedra, all the Dremora, none of them are Daedric Princes, obviously. Uh, 
All right, let's just let's rob some stuff off these people. We need we need money to buy better spells. Well, these guys that went down pretty hard. I'll give up, give them that. Uh, which way should I go? <clears throat> Gonna have to carve through that bandit camp if I ever go over here. I think we'll go this way. Make our way to White Run. What about Azura? As long as we're on the topic of good, quote, quote, Daedric princes. What makes Azura good? How is she different from, um, you know, say, uh, Clavicus Vile and Mafala? Mafala is also worshipped by the uh, Dark Elves. In fact, the Dark Elves worship most of the Daedric princes and they haven't been particularly, other than wiping them out a few times with uh, Red Mountain, they haven't been particularly bad with about them. Hey Desmond. Azura actually cares. Not really good considering her artifact is Azura's star. Permanently trapped souls. Yeah, that's right. It's only because, um... Because of, uh, what's his face, which I can't remember the name of right now either. He turned it into the Black Star to try and create his own immortality. Otherwise, it would not, Azura Star would not, oh. Now oh, I have a rock joint, yay. Otherwise, um, yeah, Azura Star would not be able to hold onto, uh, human humanoid souls Walk away now Independence Day Is it true that um, this is like a four day a four day weekend for you guys in the states? That's what my wife was saying, I was like, "Good grief, four days!" Most people here in Canada didn't even get a day off. It was like Saturday. Guess what? Guess what? You get to not work on Saturday and Sunday.
What the hell is going on over there? Are you trying to attack the vigilance there? I don't know how many people got that. I mean, I was out and the roads were as busy as normal. All the stores were open. All the grocery stores were open. Restaurants were open. For heaven's sake, even the, the place that uh, I get my the oil changed in my car was open. I mean, maybe people working in, um, like, factories and offices? Maybe? See you later, Lellers. Have a great Independence Day. America. It's like, um, uh, Wow Crendor said, I speak two languages American and American. <laughs> They're the two greatest languages. <laughs> Uh, the Can us Canadians like to tease the Americans, but, uh, you guys have been pretty good, uh, neighbors. Die, wolf. Invisible War is uh, is going fine. Um, I'm not sure how like how far I am in it. I just arrived in Cairo, so I finished all of uh, Seattle, and there was that um, like Mako ballistics facility outside of town. So that's all done. What? Just some random Nord? Here. Eat fire! Oh. Ow. Oh god. Um. This could be a problem. I think that was the joke, Wolf. America. <laughs> okay, let's do one stamina, one health. Uh, apparently, I have everything I can get in restoration. Heavy armor. Yes, let's take heavy armor fit. And I could put points into destruction. I kind of want to hold off on that, though. Yeah, that's fine.
I like to put points in there, but I want to save them because I'm not doing that many uh, skills, so I want to use as much as I can for restoration. Let's put a point in here. So we can do some more damage. There we go. Oh. Oh, I missed twice? Come on. Damn. Dude, you're not, you're not giving me a chance to kill you. There you go. See, that's more like it. Oh, apparently I'm being attacked by a freaking mud crab as well. Oh, no, he's getting attacked by mud crab. Oh, he's dead! He got murdered by mud crabs. Mud crabs are literally the most dangerous thing in the entire universe. This has been confirmed. <laughs> You're talking about Nords and Elves? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> um, well, more stamina, I guess. Gonna need a lot of stamina. A lot of stamina, I think. Denting blows. Decrease armor rating. Nice. Power attacks with a mace deliver a critical strike that deals three times damage, four times against undead. That is absolutely necessary. Top hat and monocle. Is that a uh, reference to um, Total Biscuit? Ooh, we've got more stuff. So we got Edge Walker. Uh, healing spells work better as we go up. Sending light and when descending light ends undead burn 15 points for 5 seconds. Very nice. Let's go with the uh, you know, Mace's Ignore Armor, then we can get Smite. Okay, it's getting kind of dark. I don't have a light spell yet, so... How swept the sound? Amazing Grace is sweating. Oh, there's a texture that doesn't want to load. On both sides. There we go. Finally loaded. Oh, I thought it was deliberate. Don't mind me, I'm just trying to have the rest of my breakfast while we play. How are things going in Lebanon today?
Hey, Mad King. I'm doing well. How are you doing today? Uh, oh. Yeah, I guess we don't really want to sell that. That's a, that's a good sword. May your road lead you to warm sands. And cook an egg on the street. I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Ah, a letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? Good Looks like that's it. Kind. Got to go. All can be yours. Oh, man. How come the Middle East has got has had so much warfare and stuff over the years? You'd think with heat like that, nobody would be doing anything. I'm just, I'm just gonna lie here in the shade and not move. Come, come and see what goods I own. Same old, same old. How are things in Brazil? We're just talking about temperatures and stuff. This morning it was only uh, 10 degrees Celsius here, which is ridiculous for July. It should be... it should not get any colder than about 18 or 20 degrees at night and be like 30 degrees plus in the day. But this whole week, actually the last two weeks, it's been around 23, 24 degrees. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more. Do I have enough? I really don't have very much money, do I? I do need to get a blessing from a, one of the gods to heal me up. Oh, right, right, Southern Hemisphere. Staying safe, I hope. I know your family's I honor is important to you, you but we can't us. afford it. It took me weeks to How cold is cold in Brazil? I guess it depends on where you are, but... Hey, they take away. 37 degrees. What Tired, friend. The bannered mare has beds for rent. Lady, could you spare a coin? I really need to make some money. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. Traveler? Do I have anything else to sell? I can, I mean, I can exp sell my very expensive sword, but that's kind of sucky. Ten nope. degrees. Sorry. That's... <laughs> like, I was just saying it was ten degrees this morning here, and we're in summer. I mean, July should be one of the hottest months. I mean, it's gonna, it's going up to like 24 degrees today, but me. Yeah. Yeah, here, like years ago, August was always the hottest month. But now we seem to have the highest temperatures in July. I guess August has probably still got the highest uh, average temperature for this part of Canada. Well, any part of Canada.
some friends of mine uh, and my cousins and my brother and sister-in-law have all been to um, Tanzania in Africa. And they're like, <laughs> my sister-in-law is from Scotland. So she described it as, you know when you're in a sauna and it gets so hot that you're like, I got to get out of here. That's what, it, what it's like at night. <laughs> and there's nowhere for you to go. Politics and social issues are a mess pretty much everywhere. Yeah, I hate winter too. And here, you know, winter is... Well, I guess the average temperature is probably about minus 10 or so, but we can, it can go all the way down to minus 30 with a wind chill of minus 40 or more sometimes. Yeah, there's not a lot of places that have like ideal temperatures year round. I mean, you have, you'd have to go to like Central America up in the mountains, like, um, say maybe, um, Central Panama or something like that. The problem is then you got all this rain, right? Yeah, this part of Canada can you can it can actually range the the actual temperature will range between plus 30 and minus 30 between winter and summer and then in the summer with humidity it can reach 40. Uh, and in the winter with with wind chill it can drop to minus 40. So that's sort of the the range of temperatures that we get here between you know July and February and then all then you got all this damn snow you got to shovel too you got you so you have to go out <laughs> It's not like you can stay in. Come on, Warrior Flame. Yeah, Skyrim seems like um, the only the only warm place in Skyrim is like the hot springs, part of the rift. Oh, Mad King. Sure, there you go. There's my girl. She's a high elf. Look how tall she is. I'm not crazy about this armor on the female body. I think it would have looked a little better on a guy. But it, it does have this kind of cinched in waist thing, which is a little bit strange. It's a little bit too much, I think. Too 
Lost Paladin armor sounds familiar. Whoops. Thanks, Mad King. It's called the Gifts of Akatosh. Oh, they both died at the same time. Yeah, this hammer is kind of ridiculous. It looks fine. I mean, it looks fine like this, I guess. But, <laughs> like this. Like, look how much screen space it takes up. <laughs> Be able to set that cart on fire, I think. Yeah, I should be able to swing this and throw it and cast lightning out of it and stuff. That would oh, you can. <gasps> you can. Oh my goodness. Um, which. Which is that? Is that, um... Mm, yes, enchanting. Spell scribe. Grants pa spell scribe power. Use it to store the spell you are dual casting. Your power attacks and power bashes in combat. Unleash the stored spell for free with a cooldown based on enchanting skill. Only works with spells that affect other targets. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine? Yeah, have like chain lightning. Chain lightning that you cast out of your hammer. Oh, that that would be lovely, except we are doing, unfortunately, we're doing the Oblivion build, and the Oblivion build doesn't have uh, enchanting. Ah. That would be amazing, though. Good grief. I think I, I almost, I need to actually do a build specifically like that. Thor. Should be able to fly too. You worried someone will wander in here. Now ain't this a surprise. Burn. Burn in a holy fire. Oh, it's just like flames pouring out of me on him. There you go, Thor build right around the corner. Oh no. By the way, um, my plan going forward is um so we're doing the crusader next tuesday we're gonna do the assassin and then i want to get some flames on these guys and then oh all okay. right i wanted to level up my uh, restoration a bit but that kind of went quick quicker than i thought Anyway, yeah, so the last Oblivion build stream is going to be next week with the Assassin, and then we're going to start playing Beyond Skyrim Bruma. Thought I'd give you guys a heads up. Yeah, what does it, what kind of damage does it do? 26? Mace of Av I Avar so Stone Singer. I'm not sure if I probably have seen that, but the Sorcerer. Uh, I'm not going to be doing a stream for the Sorcerer, but the build will hopefully be out this week. I was trying to release it this past weekend, but I was having a lot of trouble with it, so I'm going to have to rework the entire build from scratch. 
And the build video should be out, hopefully, on the weekend. Oh! Ah! Let's go up to uh, 200 health. We're still puttering along with this. Well, I want to do more. I want to let them actually do more damage to me so I can increase my restoration. I need to get my hands on Turn Undead so I can go marching through some crypts and level my uh, restoration that way. Oh, it's from Blood Moon. Hmm. And I don't think I actually did all the quests in uh, in Blood Moon or Tribunal. Rallying Standard. Once a day, place a banner that grants 100 armor rating and 25% melee damage to allies within 15 feet, wearing all heavy armor, including you. Lasts for 30 seconds, or 60 seconds. Not very powerful. I mean, considering it's only once a day. It's only an extra 100 armor rating. This is nice. Take 30% less attack damage from power attacks. Entering combat will place a rallying standard at your location for 120 seconds. Does not count against your rallying standard. Your one rallying standard at a time. So you could actually have two, I guess. Or, uh, 100, well, for 60 seconds. Yeah, I, I have used immersive weapons time to time, to, but not extensively, I guess. True. That's true, Wolf. You can be anything. You can also custom build all your races. And Skyrim is really open. Like, you're not restricted by by uh, class at all. You're not even restricted by your birth sign anymore. You can just switch um, stones. But, you know, I, I guess everybody wants some, um, you know, a, some sort of a guide to have... You know, try something different. Yeah. You're right, Mad King. That's exactly why I like the Pilgrim so much. Like, I just... I was just completely in love with that whole... Roleplay experience. Even though he turned out to not be... You know, all that powerful... As a warrior. But I just... It's like... I just love this excuse to go and pick up every book and when you know when I camp read that book as as I sit by the fire it's like oh this is great we'll take defiance hmm the banner branch is better with followers. I mean, that makes sense, right? Because it, it boosts all of you. Right. Hey, another amulet of Akatosh. Hey, Necro, how are you doing? What was that? You come up here. Let's fight. Pay for that. 
grab you. Just We are routed. Let's redo my health. There you go. Stand up. You, having, you seem to be having some difficulty standing up there, friend. What was that? Well, here comes another guy. With his big two-handed weapon. Huh? Hello. Come. Come. Come to Papa. Like oh, oh, I missed. Yeah, I guess that makes sense in uh, multiplayer to use, um, well, you'd be better off with, um, classes. Especially, um, if you're gonna be, if it's like a, like a team-based thing, you need people with clear roles so that, uh, your, your team's gonna work a lot better like that. Everybody knows what they need to do. Hopefully. Assuming everybody is, um, you know, following some sort of method. <laughs> yeah, I've done plenty of builds where I completely ignored the whole, you know, being the dragonborn thing. It does cut a lot out of the game, though. Did I level again? Wow. Alright, keep going with health. Up to 200. Don't need face of death. Restoration is just crawling along. One handed. Let's see, we can do that one. We can't do that. We could do Rise Kinsman. Forward powers attacks uh, inspire nearby allies, granting them 20% extra attack damage. Okay, that is completely useless unless I have. Um, people following me. Sideways power attack. Me. No, you know what? None of these perks are all that exciting. Yeah, like, I'm surprised how many people were like, Oh yeah, I want to see you play as just an ordinary merchant. Oh, just a regular Joe who has no combat skills. Has to hire mercenaries to keep him safe while he travels the roads. Um... Hey Isaac, that's another um, that's another build that I considered playing. I was playing an Argonian because that's the closest uh, race you can get to basically basically play as um, an Akaviri, an Akaviri dragon slayer, and you are not a um, the Dawn Guard is looking for you're not a um, what's the word I'm looking for. What do you say? You're not dragonborn. You don't do. You can't do shouts or anything, but you carry like the, you know, dragon's bane sword, and the blade's armor, and you kill dragons. That's what you do. You can actually do that with uh, Skyrim Unbound. You can make it that you, that there are dragons in Skyrim, but that you don't. Um, you can't absorb their souls. They're just, you know, corporeal. Beasts, basically. Huh. 
Ezron's going to like you. Hey, do we'll talk to him at Fort Dawnguard, southeast of Riften. He'll decide if you're Dawnguard material. Yeah, you could play. I, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Kunith. But yes, if you want to do um, a vampire, you know, vampire serpent. Yeah, you did a build uh, similar to that, Mad King. You need, the finest weapons and armor. Yeah, without mods, not so easy. That's for sure. Did I? Did I? I didn't. Did I sell my? Uh, Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, he doesn't buy them. Okay. I was like, what the heck? Did I sell my amulet of Akatosh? What was I thinking? Nice. You got a dual wield, though. Pick up, um... Either Oathblade or just one of the other, one of the other, um, blade swords. Yeah. Dual wheel, no. dual wielding... No no Akaviri blades. Riverwood, take a look. Awesomeness. Frost breath, that's good. There's also somebody did, um, what was it called, like, the Dragon of the East or something. It's a role a role play story on um, like Tamriel Vault. I think it was on Tamriel Vault. And he used Fire Breath and was playing as an Argonian wearing uh, light dragon like uh, dragon scale armor. That was pretty awesome. Had some amazing screenshots. All right, I want none of this, apparently. <laughs> Damn thieves. As if... Cool. Have, have, hey, Isaac, have you play, watched me play my, um, the Rurouni build? He wears nothing but ragged pants and um, and has a blade sword. That's it. So apparently, oh, I need to find, I mean, I need to sell off some more junk and I need to go to White Run so I can buy some, some decent call spells. Junk. Me, I call them treasure. I am not going to sell one of my great Akatosh's amulets. Can't do that. Till next time. Uh, yeah, it's on my um, it's on my channel. If you do, uh, you can go into video into the videos section to do a search. Actually, go to the playlists because it was uh, a full playthrough. Oh, that's cool, Mad King. Using uh, the Ring of Nimera to eat your enemies, too. I did that with um, the uh, Crimson Scar build. So the Crimson Scars were uh, vampires in the Dark Brotherhood. And that's what they would do. They'd eat. They'd, like, leave these giant slashes on their victims. Drink some of their blood after they assassinated them. Hey, Zero, how's it going? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make it up to Bleak Falls and then uh, go back to Whiterun. 
just so that I can fast travel back here when I have some appropriate tools for dealing with dealing with undead. Nimira's Basilisk. Sounds cool. Well, great. <laughs> now, now I've got another build I need to do. <laughs> uh, I think I'm up to uh, five or six. No, at least five or six, maybe seven or more build ideas. Um, all based around Ordinator. Well, most of them are based around Ordinator, or it can at least be recreated in Ordinator. Imagine this, like you're you're trying to hold up your shield against this person that's just like bang, 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 bang. Like this is not going to end well for me. The Witcher. Yeah, a fun build is playing the Witcher in Witcher. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, apparently I'm in combat. Yes, I do plan on picking up false light. Just need to get my restoration up faster. Faster. Witcher 3 is crazy. It was like 200 hours or more. That's a good idea, using the Serpent Stone. Did you have the Serpent Stone on the crown so you could just re-equip the um, the crown and get the serpent stone power back. Use it as many times as you want. That would be pretty cool. That's okay, body. He's um, he's Canadian, so he's used to sitting in the snow. Oh, that's a snowy saber cat. And he doesn't seem to be minding that I'm just burning him with fire. He is going to absolutely murder me, though. Okay, apparently we're just gonna, re you know, we're just gonna work up our our um, destruction spells here. Uh, book, I'm using two ancient cards. Uh, the R, I think it's R9 270Xs, and they're in Crossfire. I really do need a new uh, video card badly. Necro Warp, I'm planning on actually doing a Dwemer Tinkerer build after the Oblivion. Stuff is done. Yeah, 
flames and short bursts is better because you get the burn damage. It's true. Uh, Master Lithi Lithia. This is just normal Skyrim. I'm using um, Vivid Weathers for the changing the exterior lighting and enhanced lights and effects for the interior. That's right. Running through the snow in my underwear is not a problem. <laughs> Oh my, what's happening there? Okay, my restoration is not going up fast enough. Hey, you keep saying that Toll the Bell is like ridiculously awesome. Good rise, kinsman, right? Sideways power attack with a mace depletes all of your stamina on impact, dealing 1% more damage per point of stamina depleted and doing a critical strike. That does sound kind of ridiculously powerful. I don't know why he's not attacking us, but this seems like a good opportunity to level up my rest, my uh, destruction. Oh, gaining some levels. Okay, so you stack respite. Oh, that's gonna be. Oh, I have no, no magic. Go. And there he goes. Oh no, he's not dead. Are you actually gonna die there? There we go. Finally. All right. Do we have anybody following us? No. Okay, we can get over to White Run now. Crossfall is fun for, uh, you know, survival playthrough. Got some good pieces out. Take a look. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Oh, Mike, here you go. This is the Gifts of Akatosh armor and weapon set. So I'm using the uh, Warhammer, but there's also an axe and a sword. And this is heavy armor. What the heck is... Something is clipping through right there. Weird. Okay. I don't have anything to sell. I have enough money to buy some stuff. Maybe turn undead. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. I did a, a survival playthrough with uh, Hunterborn and. Uh, realistic needs and diseases and frostfall and all that stuff. I started myself off in the rift. So I, you know, there's, except at night, I generally was safe if not freezing to death. But um, it was uh, interesting. I started out with literally nothing. Like I, ha I was completely naked. Well, you know, I had my underwear on. That did not actually help me at all, though. And um, what else? Yeah, like nothing. So I had to forage around for a sharp rock and then some sticks so that I could make like uh, an axe to chop wood to make a fire and so on. And um, eventually I, w I was like, okay, I really want a horse. 
So, but I got to go up north, um, you know, towards um, Winterhold so that I can get that horse. That's the only place I know of where there's a free horse. And um, I had to set a fire basically uh, three times a day to keep from freezing to death. It was fun though. Well, except when I'm running a frost frostfall, then my characters care about the cold. Okay, so we can do this, which is useless. It's only to get to the other one. We can also do this. Perform a one-handed sprinting power attack that deals up to 50% more damage and critical damage to a target above half health. The higher its remaining health percentage, the more damage and critical damage is dealt. Really? So you can like sprint into a power attack on somebody, like take half their health out if they're at full health? That's, that's kind of ridiculous. Come on, Restoration, let's go. The poor horse is still stuck there. Alright, let's do this overrun thing. This is gonna be crazy. Come to dragons We're just going to massacre things with that. Alright, so we want... Um, we definitely want candlelight for the... Because we're gonna be going through some crypts and things. Um... Probably going to want to get fast healing. Healing hands is going to be useful when we have false light, but at the moment, it's not going to be useful. Age light muffle. And turn lesser undead. Honor? Ha! Huh. There's no honor? There you go. Fifty percent more damage? Is that what it does? Up to 50% more damage. Oh, that's too bad. Oh well. Maybe I'll uh, respec that point into something else. <laughs> yeah, Shadow Mirror is pretty damn near immortal. I mean, she can take out an entire bandit fort by herself. Sorry, buddy. Uh, and I'll be right back, guys. I just gotta use the washroom.
Okay, we're back. Join the Mages College in Winterhold. What? 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 <laughs> yeah, everybody loses their minds. <clears throat> Okay, guys, just come down here. Perfect. You coming? Oh, they're up there. Hmm, my flame animation seems a little weird. Nope, no way. All my fault. All my fault, man. I'm telling you. You think I'm bleeding? There you go. Critical strike on you, and you are beheaded. Damn. Ah, it's because you worship that false god, Julianos. Take those two. That's 16 gold right there, folks. Oh, you know what? I should have should have picked up a uh, firebolt. Well, damn. It, I mean, can you imagine what it would take to behead someone with this thing? You'd have to hit them, like, at a million miles an hour. Let's try one of these sprinting things. Oh! One... one... Oh, one punch! Damn! Okay. That worked okay. Re you know, you really should be able to bash this thing open. I mean, can you imagine? How could you not smash that open with this hammer? One punch! Right. Oh, let's, let's get some light on the situation. And let's also put that on there. I'm going to switch over to fast healing probably fairly soon. Yeah, there's a mod for everything. Yeah, sure, I could always do with a healing potion. Let's just add that to our things. He was not doing that much damage to me. Talos, 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 I. Did you ever see that video? What a ridiculous video. You're so broken that I left that guy's body in the snow. That is... That is too bad, actually. This has got to be one of the most heavily modded games 
in the history of video gaming. Pickpocket, completely useless, but we will take it to level. Oh, Skeever, coming in this way. There you go. And there should be one more. Oh dear. Di diabetes kid. Yep, he's naked and frozen and dead. I guess he, I mean, you know, I did kill him before freezing him, right? It's not like he froze to death in the snow. I still haven't run into any undead, yes. Try not to. Okay, I really don't want to die. Stop yelling about killing it. It's dead. Isaac, this is the um, enhanced lights and effects. Basically, it turns off most of the ambient the ambient light, so you just get the light from light sources, like that. You can also get a mod called, uh, I'm using it in one of my other playthroughs, it's called something like Ultimate, Ultimate Darkness, and it turns off all of the light sources like that. Candles, torches, uh, braziers, braziers? These turns all of them off, and when you come up to them, there's a little activate thing, and you can actually light them. So then, of course, when you're looking down here, it would be pitch dark, unless you have a light spell going. Um... I... I don't think... ELFX affects performance. It might actually improve it in some instances. Let's see. So we've got um, put three points into stamina. Okay, let's do more stamina until we get to 150. There we go. And then we're going to have to start putting some into Magicka as well. Yeah, one of the biggest complaints, and man, was it hard to find a, a mod that that um, turns off the lights. Like, I've used that in uh, my Oblivion playthrough, and it was great. You walk into a dungeon, and it's dark, unless you have a light spell or a torch. I mean, I think that's how these things should be. There shouldn't be lights on everywhere. It's ridiculous. Especially that ambient um, lighting that's just, you know, there's just light coming from nothing. It's just kind of, you can just see. It's just, I guess it's, you know, because most people are not playing in a dark room and they're, you know, playing the game on their console across the room looking at the, at the TV. So you, you can't have it too dark. I think that's the idea behind it, but still. Bleh. Yep, Draugr rise, get up, just so that they can keep the uh, lights burning. They make candles, you know, you gotta, you gotta maintain the place. 
Now what have we got here? Revel in battle. Defiance also increases melee weapon damage by 3% for 10 seconds. That sounds kind of crappy. So when you get hit, it increases your melee damage by a little bit. That's right, should have played a goblin, a goblin crusader. Got a holy goblin crusader. We're going to do the next point in denting blows. And we can go all the way up to toll the bell. So, I'm going to see. I want to see how good this is. Okay, these things don't really have enough... I don't really have enough, uh... don't really have enough, um, health for me to... Oh, and he's dead. I'll do the sideways power attack on that guy right there. Quick save, in case I miss. Like that. Oh, damn. That's pretty decent. You are dead. So dead so many times. Um, dude? Wait, come back! Okay, you're gonna run away. That guy got killed over there. Yeah, I need more stamina. Wow, my stamina's... Look how slowly my stamina is regenerating. Go, keep running, run right into that thing and get dead. There you go. My stamina's really... Going slow. Wood perk again. All right, let's do a little more magicka. I think. Respite. Yes. Can I get to there from now? Oh, I can. Nice. Okay, we'll do Edgewalker, and next level will be Respite. And right now we will get some light. Actually, what I need is lesser undead. There we go. You're done. Bluey. Stumble! Stumble for me! No, oh, he's just gonna keep running away. I'm gonna have to wait till he stops running. There you go. Ah! Oh, I'm suddenly taking a lot of damage. Shush. Okay, that was difficult. 
purpose is to live a hundred years in this dungeon and still don't memorize, didn't memorize the layout. Well, they are running in fear, so, you know. Those pa sideways power attacks are not that easy to successfully carry out. Let's do some more health, and we'll do respite. I'm not convinced that that bell toll is any better than, um, than just an ordinary power attack. Am I missing something? MC Hammer. Do Draugr actually see at all? They shouldn't, really. I mean, their eyes have long since rotted. Ah, 200 stamina. Alright. What do we have to deal with here? Troll. Alright, we're doing, gonna do a running power attack on him. Guess we're probably gonna want um, flames on him. Come on then. Oh! Oh! They do have those glowing blue pupils, which is kind of strange. This is this is terrible. I can't kill this thing. Um God. All right, let's um, let's just use those then. Ugh. And let's level. And take a breath. Ugh. <laughs> um. More health. Can use false light. Could do false light, and then we can start using targeted healing spells. I'm gonna wait on that. I don't have a targeted healing spell at the moment. Thirty percent less attack damage. Sounds good. Ah, we did it. Oh, my goodness.
Your blood doesn't flow, you have no energy to use your muscles. That's a good point. Yeah. Forced to level up to survive. Hey, Fab. Welcome back. I remember you from last time. Can I? You're a right. I probably can't use this, can I? Nah, it's too... Too much. My, uh, light spell really doesn't last very long, is it? And you're done! Hey, Johnny! I mean, technically, gods are real in real life, too. Anything that anyone worships is classified as a god. Sun spells? What do you mean? We need sun spells. Come down here, guys. So I can use these things against you. There you go. Parasites create real-life zombies. That's interesting. Now let's... Uh there you go. Yeah, yeah, I think, um... I don't know if I... I don't know if I want to use the sun... The sun spells on this. I guess I have to, right? I don't think Ordinator actually makes the um, the uh, healing spells damage undead, which they should. In a real RPG, healing spells damage undead. I might, I might have to. Might just have no choice but to. Uh, oh, did I? Uh, no, I didn't. I'm gonna do false light, but I don't think false light works on the undead. Hey, Deus Morris, what's up? Alteration is not a crusader skill, sadly. Praise the sun. What does the exor exorcist perk do? Oops. Afterglow reduces armor? You mean afterglow? Hostile undead burn? Yeah, you don't really need it then, do you? This descending light activates um, when you go into combat. So that's the last for 10 seconds, so you can burn them. Then you got afterglow, and descending light ends hostiles burn within 40 feet. Burst into plant, plan, flames, fi, fi, <laughs> 15 points of damage for 5 seconds, and they lose magic resistance and armor, and in combat targets within 30 feet affected by a turn undead spell, or affect burn with divine, with divine fire. So yeah, I can just use a turn undead spell. I don't have to, um, I don't actually need sun, sun spells. Yeah.
Parasites create the ultimate beacons? What? Are you sure False Light works with, uh... With he oh, with heal undead and necromantic healing. Uh, hmm. Which means Dawn Guard might be required. Perk that gives you extra spells. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that's a pretty good argument. Though I'm a crusader for Akatosh. I don't really want to do Meridia's Beacon. Akatosh is the god of time. Oh god, he just... He just made me lose, and why, why am I moving at, like, snail speed? He made me drop my hammer, that bastard. Yeah, Dragon God of Time. Well, I did just level. Do more health. Hmm. False light. Hmm. That's right, Akatosh is a vampire. That makes perfect sense, actually. Used a toll. Uh, each standing power attack with a mace that hits a target empowers subsequent standing power attacks with a mace within 20 seconds, increasing their damage and stamina cost by 15%, and that stacks. No, that's true. Yes, Ariel. Let's do uh, Afterglow for now. Ow. He is really doing quite a bit of damage to me. Now I can't move. Okay, you. You're doing far too much damage to me, you scumbag. Jumping out of the way here. I didn't choose choose the dragon life. The dragon turned me into their slave. And we don't care about that. Oh, we wanna switch that over, I think.
Yeah, it keep, keeps hitting me with that frost right sword. I'm like, why can't I move? Yeah, Crusaders can't block. Sad but true. Yeah, I'm not exactly looting everything. Oops. And he's not working. Riverwood Trader is everything. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. No. Nope. Keep that. Sell that. And he doesn't have enough money. I better get back to cleaning the. <laughs> oh my God, JC, a bomb, a bomb. A bomb. You know, I don't know. I can't quite say it the way that the forest evil. actor did. Looks like that's it. A bomb. So he, he says it in such a way that it's not, it's not like he's afraid. It's like he suddenly realized the word, realized what word he used. Like, oh my God, JC, it's a bomb. A bomb. It was like a bomb, a bomb. Oh, a bomb. A bomb, bomb, bomb. I've heard this word before. some good pieces out here the finest weapons and armor really so this is an older version of uh don't forget to check inside coordinator spare coin for a coral bag are all alike from skyrim to hammerfell they care only for war and politics and treat their women like Got something for just about everything's for some trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Do come back. You know nothing. Nothing of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing. See you later, buddy. What a Is he nothing? Oh, Exorcist, Exorcist now gives you free sun spells. Well, that's pretty sweet. Oh, well. I've done all the other builds with this version, so I might as well finish. I've only got, you know, one left. Okay, so... Whoops. My uh, restoration it went up a fair bit. Not as much as I would have hoped. But, not bad. Yeah, if only you know, 10 out of 10 would drink orange soda again. Okay, add that to my thing. Oh, pardon me. I wish I should have returned the golden claw. Drat. Oh, 
I should have bought healing hands. Let's do that. Yeah, just respec everything. The question is, who doesn't love orange soda? Haha, <laughs> I'm alright, I'm alright. Another wanderer, here to lick my father's boots. Good job. Come to Dragon's Reap. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Well, I wish to buy some things from you, like that. Okay, we don't need any of these. No alteration. No raising zombies. Already got that. Oh, I think that's all we can get you know, from here. Got the aptitude. You should join them. Healing hands. Okay, now when we level up, we can do false light, and then healing hands will kill people. Oh my, that that's a lot of fog. That is a lot of fog. Nasty. Yeah, let's see. So we've got, um, whoops. We've got flames, which is uh, eight points of damage for 11, for a cost of 11. Healing hands is, mm, well, it's going to be 12, what's 75% of 12? Is that also eight? I want to say eight for a cost of nine. So it's, not more damaging, but it's slightly more um, magicka effective. I do not know what Keenan and Cal is. Probably not because of my age, though. As a matter of fact, Kyle, I do make it to the Cloud District once in a while. The sun. I rise to the sun. That is a frostbite spider. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm gonna totally, totally die. I'm gonna die horribly. It's minus a quarter, though, not times a quarter. Isn't that right? False light is 75%, so it should be uh, 12 times 3 quarters. You've been poisoned, you know. Giant frostbite spider, and it's not wounded this time. Oh god, are you serious? You, ha, what? The, the bandit and the frostbite are working together? Oh, 
Holy crap, I'm dying. I'm dying, seriously. Hardcore. <sighs> okay. Let's do some more health. And let's try out this false light thing. Oh nice, it is actually damaging it. Cool. Eh. That's really neat. Eventually, healing hands will do more damage. Where'd the other guy go? Oh, it doesn't. It actually has a burn effect. Look at that. Your wife take you. Okay, healing hands is pretty cool. Now we can level up. Um, Summit. I'm just gonna do that. There's no, there's no real need. Oh, except that it'll healing hands won't work on undead, right? And I do still want to level up destruction, but we'll uh, we'll do this. That's good. Dude, no, you need to die. I really, I really don't have time for your magical shenanigans. Goodbye. What am I doing? Skyrim streams are best enjoyed drunk or half asleep. Praise the mother effin' son. Get sunned. <laughs> Thank you, Mad King. Massively appreciated, as always. I should put that on there. Take that, that's worth something. Hey, Tenric. Hey, Enric, I should say. You think it, what was that? Someone Kill that uh, dog, unfortunately. Wow, that that dog is that dog's hard, man. PC outcast ed education confirmed.
Oh, I wasn't educated by the American education system, that's for sure. Alright, let's... Let's heal him a little. I'm getting some serious slow man there. Oh. Oh, we're just power attacking over and over each other. Oh, and there it goes. Kablooey. Um, can I? You know what? I can just carry all of this stuff. It's fine. We will pick all that stuff up, sell it to somebody who can make better use of it. Oh, wow. Yes, take it all. Hello, unknown gamer. That's right, decapitation with a war hammer, it's... It's a thing. <laughs> now you really should be able to like, like, I don't know, just mash their head down. You know, what if they, what if you hit them on the head and their, their head went down into their suit of armor? I think that could work. Hey, Jonathan, yes, I'll show you. This is part of the uh, gifts of Akatosh armor. So this is the armor. That is the hammer, and there's also a war axe and sword. Comes with that mod. Okay, I do have a perk. So, we've already done false light. Can't do the next one because that'll make that'll make it more powerful. We can do Exorcist and Crusader's Fire. In combat, targets within 30 feet affected by a turn undead spell. Yeah, we definitely want that. What else do we want? Do we want Sacred Guardian? Emanate a 20 foot aura of protection. Uh, any living allies within range that fall below 30% health are automatically healed. Has a 30 second cooldown per target. Whoops. Uh, and then if we use Light Wielder, that will affect enemies. That's right. Bye now. I was watching the, um, the co-optional podcast. I think this was, um, well, this is probably a few a few times ago, they were talking about um, Twitch U, starting a <laughs> Twitch University <laughs> education course. Like, do you want, kids, do you want to start a, a career, enter a field, a career field where you could make tens of dollars? Give me only five ninety nine ninety nine. Ten easy installments. Um, let's see. I don't, I don't really know what I want to do there. Special offer is six six six.
I basically won all these perks, and I'm not sure if I'm actually going to have enough points for it. Okay, let's do this. It'll periodically re regenerate our magic and stamina, and also curse our enemies. I think that's a good one. Two evil pencils? No way, man. That what a deal. Got some good pe hmm. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Yeah, legendary. You might just have to do some legendary. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. I spend a lot of time at the market stall so I can learn the merchant's trade. I need more experience if I'm going to run an inn someday. Let me know if you see anything you like. Everything's This oh, deal is only lasts for today. Until, or until supply, supplies last. Of course, we have unlimited supplies, but pay no attention. Okay, dude, you need to die. You need, you need, you need to regenerate your, your money. You really need more money. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. There you go. Remember, I'll give you the best deals. Yeah, with a uh, legendary. So when you get a, um, oh, actually, I leveled up again. Okay. Um, let's do Magica. Ma Magica. So if you get one of these uh, perk trees up to a hundred, then you can press space and turn it legendary, which gives you all the perk points back, but resets it back to fifteen, and you have to build that up. Um. Well, I'm still trying to do the Sorcerer, been struggling with that build for like a week. Um, I'd prefer not to Legendary my Skulls Wolf, but if I have to. And as for build, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and release the Sorcerer next weekend, and then the Crusader the following week, and then the Assassin is the last one. So we'll be doing the Assassin um, stream next Tuesday. And then... And then it's on to Beyond Skyrim Bruma. He said he would die trying to give me a better deal. So, you know, just trying to help him out. Yes, touch spells. So powerful. Yeah, I got pretty good, pretty good money. Let's go and return the claw. Get some money from him. The Riverwood Trader. Take a look. Oops, that's not what I wanted here. Oh, a bit of nope. this. Did something happen? Uh, yes, an ornament. Solid. Oh, did you mean this? You found it. I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. What's my deal? How much money you gave me? You've done a great thing. Be a and my sister. Have a great night. Eight hundred. Eight hundred's okay. Yeah, you're right, Wolf. I'm going since there's only there's literally only um, restoration, destruction, heavy armor, and one-handed. I mean, look. I'm already almost at max. At 75 there, 75 there. 
56 and 34. Destruction is going the slowest, obviously. The map mod is called 3D Paper World Map. Um, Canada Day was... it rained for, uh... <laughs> it rained for the first half, but, um, cleared up for the fireworks. Really nice. Otherwise, you know, beautiful day. Tried to, uh, relax as much as possible. I'm trying to get... trying to recoup for another... another week of work and all that. I am near Toronto, actually. What am I doing? Oh, I wanted to go to uh, Winterhold, go to the college. I want to buy some better healing spells. I can take you to any of the hold. Where do you want to go? Yep, there's a Canada Day. This was uh, Canada's 150th birthday. Big one. Even Tim Hortons had a special roll up the rim. Oh my goodness. How do you like that ice fog? Cross the bridge at your... The way is dangerous, and the gate will not open. What is you this place? Why are you out here? I am here? And if, the more important question is... I would like to enter the college. Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? I want to see what it looks like inside. Oh, humor is often <laughs> in short supply here. But I sense that... It would seem that the college... Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. Fine, I'll do Excellent. your test. The fear spell has saved the life of many in a Fear spell. Pleh. If you could cast it on the seal here on the ground, that would prove your skill. A thousand year birthday? Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't know that spell. No. Or you can try your luck with one of the court wizards. Yeah, here you go. Sure That's you actually a bargain. If I was going to use a fear spell, 30 bucks for a fear spell? Whew. Well done indeed. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Welcome, apprentice. I'll lead you across the bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabelle Irvine, our master wizard. Please, follow me. Yeah, all of a sudden, Winterhold became Silent Hill. Like, look at this! It's terrifying. That's right, brainwash people into watching my streams. You've all fallen victim. <laughs> uh, okay, I want Colette. E Colette, Colette, Colette. Give me those sweet, sweet restoration spells. Did you know that sweet, that, uh, sweet. Did you know that restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic? And Colette's not here. Well, thank you, Isaac. I try. Try to talk to everybody and much as I can. I mean, I, I assume if my streams got like really big, it would be impossible for me to engage with everybody in chat, but where the heck is Colette? Yes, Where did that girl get off to?
I want to go to see them. Hey, scumbag. I'd like to try out some healing spells on you. <laughs> okay, Colette's gotta be around. She's always in there. Almost always. Uh, Will, I... yeah, there's, um, there's a Knights of the Nine build that's really cool on the, on the, uh, vault. I think it's, um, or she could be in the Arcanium. Okay. Um, it's cool, like, he goes around, um, Welcome to the college. bringing on as many, as many, uh, like, um, followers and stuff as he can, blades, and the companions, and whatnot, brings them all on, um, sends them to, so starts building all the houses, like, the houses are all, um, like, um, chapters, or basically, or whatever, right, chapters of the Knights of the Nine, build up, eventually go to... Ulfric and offer the services of the, um... She's not here. Unless she's... No? Oh, there she is. Um, yeah, so you, you get as many people on. I think he said you can get as many as nine people altogether between... Maybe even more. Twelve? Something like that. And, uh, yes, of course it's valid. And then you can get into the purchasing menu here. Um, then you go to Ulfric and you offer the assistance of the Knights of the Nine in restoring uh, true worship of Talos in Skyrim. In exchange, you want his help to take the rest of Tamriel, basically. It's a pretty clue, pretty clue yes, Nicolette. And Colat, they're sisters. Anyway, it's a pretty cool build. I hear you, Isaac. I've been working on my Vicar of the Voice for like three years. It's still not done. White River Priory. Sounds interesting. Heal other. There we go. Oh, damn. Look at that. 96 points. So we're going to do 75% of that. I mean, eventually you can do 100% of it with the right perks. But 96. That is 72 points of damage. Cool. Take that. Um, we probably are going to want... Um, probably going to want some of these more potent things, aren't we? Close wounds? I don't have enough money. Oh, I do have enough money for all of it. Okay, turn undead. Repel us or undead. And close wounds. It's basically all my money. Wait. Okay. Right. Oh, that's not too bad. 45? Mm. Oh, De Demon Hunter probably is still the most popular. I think it got too far ahead of everything else. But ha 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 ha, that, that, as we're learning multiple spells. All right, heal up, ooh, look at that. Okay, so heal, no, healing hands, I, actually I can probably get rid of this. Healing hands, 12 points, we're only doing eight of that though, but eight points of damage for nine magicka. This one is 72 points of damage for 29 magicka. That's pretty hardcore, actually. Okay, get rid of that. And use that instead. 
And... Do I want to... I might as well... I might as well upgrade this, right? So I could... I can turn multiple undead away at the same time. Let's do that. Let's also have that for higher level undead. And... Do I want to switch over to close wounds? 69 points. Ninety six minus twenty five. That my calculator says that's seventy two. <laughs> yes. Join the PC outcast education system. Blair. And it is ninety six. Yeah, ninety six, not ninety two. Praise the sun, the unholy sun. Heals 128 points. Thanks, Mike. You did great work, man. Praise to Riemann. Yeah, I think uh, Tamriel Vault, the, the fight is back in, is between, uh, you know, for top spot is pretty much just between the Demon Hunter and the Obsidian Sentinel. I don't think there's, I don't think there's any other builds that even come close to those. And now I I'm still considering playing the playing your demon hunter build with the demon hunter armor from uh, Diablo. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, it's only for female characters, but you know, it looks the part. Rebuilding the Obsidian Sentinel with Ordinator. Huh. Yeah, the Obsidian Sentinel is the one that actually inspired me to start this channel. <laughs> Believe it or not. Well, to start the whole, you know, let's play a build through from start to finish. I've wanted to play the Bronze Sentinel for a long time, too. Vane. That's cool. That's a cool name, dude. Yeah, maybe I should do both um, the Demon Hunter and the Obsidian Sentinel in Ordinator. That would be cool. I don't know if I can compete with you guys, though. Your builds are awesome. Okay, I'm gonna add that. I might not start using it just yet. Uh, let's just go out to Skyrim here. Oh yeah, Lion's Arrow. Hmm. Demon Hunter would be just just be a beast with this. Like this, for example. So you got you definitely have to have wing strike when they run up on you, you bash them. Right. Lion's arrow. Use it to store the spell you are casting. Shoot a full, fully drawn bow in combat also releases the stored spell. Yeah. You could do trick arrows too, but that would just be massive. And then you can just always enchant your uh, 
enchant your crossbow with um, chaos damage and just absolutely murder everything on legendary in one shot pretty much more rune more runes is so nice like you can place like three or something around you so that as they come or you can place them ahead of you so they have to like run over each one <laughs> by the time they get to you they're like half health at best all right what am i doing now let's go and find some more Draugr, i think and then we will have to call it a day we're almost at the end of streaming time actually you know what let's deal with some bandits let's go down to vault time try these spells out on some bandits Or maybe somebody over there. Well, let's just get these things set up. So we're not going to bother with flames anymore. Let's get rid of that. Although I do need to get my re my destruction up, but yeah, we'll worry about that later. Let's do heal other and rip. Hell lesser undead, I guess. We'll hold off on turn undead for the time being. Yeah, we could always try the stuff out on this guy. I have not tried Bruma yet. I'm going to be doing that uh, in two weeks, I believe. Snipe plus lightning strike, eh? Take a look at that. So snipe, shooting targets you haven't shot in the past 10 seconds inflicts a critical strike that deals three times critical damage and any weapon enchantments applied by the shot are twice as effective. Even just with the, um, just with the perk on, or the uh, enchantment that's on um, crossbows, wouldn't that reduce their armor to zero? If it doubles the enchantment, it's twice as effective. It'd be interesting to test that out. And then lightning strike. Critical damage. Critical strikes deal 75% more critical damage for 10 seconds. <sighs> yeah. Get wrecked. <laughs> Yeah, let's, uh, let's try this out. I am waiting for a good death. Yes, were I to simply lay down and die. Perhaps I can give you that Perhaps. death, friend. Are you sure about this? Hmm. We shall see. Well, that's not removing much health. just got rege regenerated. Uh-huh. And, you know what, we might as well go back and just level up restoration, or uh, destruction while we're here. There we go! That'd be awesome if Sky Oblivion and Skywind would get done. It would be epic. Truly epic. Did he actually have that much health? 
That's se I mean, my my spell should have been doing 75 points of damage. 72. 69. Something. Down. Whew. I am using the gifts of Akatosh. Look at that armor. Freaking beautiful. We we are routed. <laughs> Good point, Mad King. <laughs> Who who's we? Exactly. Who is this we you speak? Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Get dead. Yeah, the armor of the Crusader is a is a very good option for this playthrough, a cru for a Crusader, for sure. Yeah, our leveling is slowed. Heavy armor and one-handed are staying neck and neck. Restoration is slowly getting there. Yeah, the damage isn't bad. I'm just, I'm wondering if you can get any more, I guess, well, against undead. I guess un, against undead, the stuff will do pretty good. I wonder what the range is on these, on this heal other spell. We all love healing wolves to death. It's the best of times. See, you're gonna have to hand over, say, two hundred. Uh, how about you let me through and I don't murder Kate you? This is a surprise. All right. That's not bad. Maybe I should be using heal wound, heal uh, or close wounds instead. Mercy, mercy, mercy! Oh, warrior's flame hand uh, just healed me. Take that and those. Sounds good. Hey, Deus. So we're going to be doing, um, you know, there's a good possibility I might actually finish, uh, Invisible War this Saturday. Oh, I just, I just got hammered. Ha, uh. I don't like getting shot by that guy. Oh, I'm actually out of magic. Oh, my God. Oh, he had like no chance at all. Whew. Okay. Oh, Ajani, yeah, we're working on playing through uh, the Book of Unwritten Tales, but it's been like, we did like three episodes and it's been like, I don't know, six weeks or something. We are going to get back to that at some point. Oh, I can hit you from here.
Get dead. Oh. Oh, you're so dead. Oh my goodness, you're so dead. Okay. Not using any of the apocalypse spells for this one. Oh, and you're done. I'm almost falling off. Hey, Russell. How you doing, man? Get high and high rock, hammered and hammer fell. Not using any of the apocalypse spells for this one. Well, that's that's everybody. Oh man, let's let's get some light on the subject here. I'll grab that. This is not Molnir, but it's pretty damn close. And we were already we were talking earlier about me doing a Thor build. Hammer does 36 points of damage now. Oh yeah, look at that thing. It's insane. Takes up so much screen real estate, too. Anyway, uh, that is going to be it for today. I'm going to have to call this stream. But thank you very much for watching. Oh, it's so dark now. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you once again, Mad King, for your donation. I really appreciate it. It does help out a lot. And um, you can expect to see the Crusader build next week the actual build guide. Um, and next Tuesday, we're gonna be doing the final stream of the Oblivion Restoration class series. So don't forget to turn in, tune in at this same time for that. Should be a blast. We're gonna play an Argonian and we're going to use, um, we're gonna be testing out the bear traps and some of the perks that allow you to like, uh, lure people, you know, to their doom. That should be a lot of fun. And thank you guys for giving me like 15 more ideas for builds. So rebuilding the uh, the Demon Hunter, the Obsidian Sentinel in Ordinator, as well as doing a Thor build, <laughs> along with the other 15 or so builds I have uh, thoughts for so we should be all set for builds for the rest of the year I guess <laughs> pretty much and we're also going to be playing in the next couple of weeks going to start playing Beyond Skyrim Bruma so I hope that you guys will join me for that should be fun looks like it was a well done mod be great and yes as Dea said don't forget to buy my education system now special only for this stream $99.99 all right thanks that's it for today oh thank you thank you mike donation very much appreciated as well that's awesome ah uh, two donators guys guys thank you so much we'll see you if you guys would like to join me on thursday i'll be playing um some more of the jedi outcast he's finally got his lightsaber and got some of his powers is force powers so we're starting to have a lot of fun for with that guy too all right thank you very much for watching and thank you mike for your great builds too on the tamriel vault
They're awesome. Good work. We'll talk to you guys later.